Hello, wonderful followers and subscribers of Oligo Sun. I hope this video finds you well. All right, guys. Professor Yemi Osimbajo link up with Peter B in the US. Guys, it was an amazing moment and it brought a lot of good memories. You understand? You see, um, a lot of people said that when Peter B came out from PDP to Labour Party, if maybe uh, Osimbajo has come out, you understand? For the same time, the link up, you know, decide to contest together. It would have been a win-win. Well, um, even if Osibajo had decided to have contested, you understand, on a separate platform, I would have still go for Peter B. However, Osibajo is a good guy. Let's not forget that um, you know the changes he made, the 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 the, the, the short time powers you know allocated to him when uh, Buari was not around. It was a good use, positive turn around in the country. You understand? I'm gonna be showing you the video and the pictures in a short while. All right. Um, it's okay. Uh, before that, I want to show you a video of Obi Ezekwisi message to your presido. Okay, let's watch it. When we come back, I'll show you the video of Peter Biano Simbajo. Please let me like this video and make sure you share it. Thanks and God bless you. Or any of those who worked in that government is able to come out to defend where they left off. Uh, as of May 28, 2023, and how they defend what they left for the country as the economy, the set of the economy. But I mean, there are those who will say, no, what no exactly? God, I, I, I still don't understand. You, you know, the your, point I'm making yes. is that uh, I mean, those who worked in the last government mm -hmm. will, will probably need some defending of what they did with the Nigerian economy. Where, where are well, you all? Yeah, all but that. the question is that either we got a bad economy or we got a good economy. There is a new government in place. The question is that. Have you done a good job in the last one year, from your own assessment? And you use the indicators. I mean, I'm always saying that um, in God I trust, but every other person must come with their data. And all the data, the economic indicators, show clearly that they haven't done a good job of it. Even when they've got <laughs> a very bad... Yes, they've worsened it. What, what they... would they have done with that bad situation? Could they have done anything better? Well, I mean, for one, they could avoid the fiscal wreck recklessness and rascality that we see. I mean, <laughs> if you are Nigerian, you should be very vexed at this government. All that we have seen since this government came into office has been fiscal profligacy. I mean, profligacy. That's what we've said. They've been so totally... I don't even know the word. I'm trying to, um, to not use um, harsh words. But it is difficult not to, because if you see the divergence between what I know to be the daily pain and misery of the Nigerian poor person, I am a pastor's wife, so I get to be in the midst of all segments of society. I know what families are going through. I, I, I cry every day because of that. I cry when we read some of the texts that my husband, as pastor of a church, gets. And to see the political class of this country be totally reckless with scarce public resources, a country that is highly leveraged. We, being highly leveraged means that we are overburdened with debt. We are crumbling under the weight of debt. When you talk about debt and these guys uh, begin to tell you uh, debt to GDP mm -hmm. ratio, that's an in incredible nonsense. Because that is not the important indicator you use when you don't have the kind of GDP base and structure of economy and revenue, uh, you know, uh, size and scale that those in advanced economies can do. What you are paying attention to is tax revenue or total revenue to, to debt. And the total revenue to debt has gone from 80%, uh, you know, to any numbers that are higher than that all right you've heard her she said uh you know Tinubu has brought more hardship on the country you see let me just uh give you a pedigree of this woman obi is quickly let's not forget she was a minister of education under Obasa job this woman was so good to the extent you know they will start calling her madam due process you see the people you work with also matters a lot all right let me show you the moment um uh peter will be link up with osibajo you know also, after that, I'm going to also show you a message that Peter will be sent to your presido, uh, you know, 
Tinubu is just too terrible. Let me know, let me add one more thing for you guys. Tinubu, aside the presidential jetty board, other cars, other presidents have been using. There's also there. Do you know? Are you guys aware? Also, just acquired a car worth about a billion. Let's watch the rest of the video now. Please don't forget to share this video. Thank you. <laughs> Alright guys, so this was Peter Obi's message to Tinubu and his government. He said, now that the presidential jet has arrived, from all indications, despite all the denial and back and forth over the newly acquired presidential aircraft, the jet is now here, thanks to the French court that helped Nigerians to get the information. Now that the jet is here, can Nigerian taxpayers, whose money was used to purchase it, need to be privy to how much it cost and how old the aircraft is and how long it's been in operation. In addition, Nigerians also deserve to know about how the old jets been disposed, how many of them, how old are they are and why they are being sold. Transparency and accountability should be the hallmark of any genuine leadership. The government will lose nothing but respect if it fails to provide adequate information about its leadership to the people whose money is being deployed and whose mandate the president is holding. The presidential jet is a major symbol of national sovereignty and state power. How much it costs to transport the president is a major issue of public accountability. I hope that Nigerians will not be denied the right of full disclosure on the new presidential jet. Peter Obi.